Hey curl friends, it's Jazz and I'm back with a really quick video for you doing a protective style this time because summer has been showing out. So we're gonna twist her down into two cute buns using Uncle Funky's daughter's products. So let's get into it. So as always, I'm gonna be starting off with freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. This time I made sure to detangle with a middle part so that it eliminates any detangling that I would need to do while styling. So I always, like to start with the middle part no matter how many twists I'm doing just to kind of guide where I want to go but this time I'm going to do two on each side so I haven't put any products on my hair if you notice so this was my second attempt at this because I initially started with putting product on my hair before sectioning before parting and it was no fun because as you can see my hair is starting to dry so this is what my hair was doing with product on it. So just some trial and error, I'm here to help. So you will need a mirror to do that part. Don't let this video fool you. I need, I used a mirror to do that part. So as you can see, I'm resaturating my hair because I want my hair to be really soaking wet when I'm applying these products because it's gonna be a set that I'm not taking down. So I want it to be nice and flat and smooth and neat. For styling, I'm starting off with one of my absolute faves, Super Curl, especially because this is gonna be a protective style. I wanna put the most amount of moisture into my hair while leaving it alone for at least a week. This Super Curl Miracle Moisture Cream, it has almond oil, shea butter, and vitamin A, and when I tell you it smells bomb, this styler can be paired alone, but I am gonna be using Curly Magic out of the Travel Kit. If you have not gotten your hands on this Travel Kit, you are missing out. Curly Magic has aloe vera, marshmallow, and agave nectar. Now you've seen me use Curly Magic for anything from wash and goes to twist outs to braid outs to rod sets. I use it for everything. Now when you're doing a flat twist on soaking wet hair, the key to having a neat twist, especially if you're not taking them down, is to have everything smooth. So you can see I'm adding a little bit more of the curly magic towards the front and the edges that are going to be mo mostly exposed. You want that to be a very neat lay. So I'm starting off with one piece and it's simply just an over and under method. So I'm taking my index finger, coming across and grabbing more hair every time. I am gonna stop and smooth as I go because once you get a couple rotations in, your hair will start to get a little tangled and you don't want it to just be a bunch of curls wrapped around each other. You want it to be nice and sleek. And as you can see, a little bit of the hair from that second twist was getting in there, but I did get that corrected. But you really just want the nice flat twist. So. The key to that, like I mentioned, is making sure everything is smooth. If you need to re-wet as you go, please do so because you don't want to twist together partially dried wet hair. It's either going to be soaking wet or blow dry to get a nice flat twist. It's one or the other. So we're going to start again here. Second twist, just grabbing a new piece, using my index finger coming across it's really simple once you get a rhythm this isn't for the week you're not gonna necessarily get these perfect on the first go I did redo uh, this I think this might have been my second because once you once it starts getting ugly it defeats the purpose especially if you're gonna wear them so just keep smoothing take your time be patient that's why I only did four to be completely honest because I'm like I don't I don't have it in me to get six or eight perfect ones but four was the magic number for me but as you can see like when you take your time you get a nice neat twist once you get down to the two strand twist at the end of each flat twist that is the easiest part but it's also the most important part if you are deciding to untwist the buns once they dry so i am going to do a bantu knot with each twist um, onto each other so that they can dry that way um, and then you'll see the difference once i get to the end so i'm going to show you the flat twist again from a different angle um, this is 
the easier ones to me are the ones that are going straight back and you don't have to like do from an angle but the key again here is keeping your hair smooth stopping if you have to and you're just using your index finger and coming across to the opposite side making sure you're grabbing all of your hair because that's really where you run into a problem of having a messy twist if you're not getting all of the hair um, and once you get a good rotation of this it's pretty simple the hardest part with doing a flat twist on wet hair is keeping your hair smooth especially if you're going to wear them because that's the whole point so it's just a matter of using the right products these products are really moisturizing and it's not going to leave your hair drying because if your hair starts to dry before you finish, it's just not a good look. So these are very moisturizing products, great slip for uh, styles like this. So like I mentioned on the other side, I am doing two little Bantu knots um, for twists. This was a really simple hairstyle once I decided how many twists I wanted to do and how I wanted it to look. So I did redo the two side twists. So if you do see a slight difference, I was just being a little particular and I redid them just because they weren't giving what I needed to give. So I did redo the two side twists. So I sat under the dryer for about an hour and a half. Um, I did tie a scarf down. So you see I now have that nice flat look, um, nice neat twist. So once you decide if you want to keep it twisted or not, it's totally up to you. So you can kind of make this two styles. You can leave the buns twisted for a day or two, take them down, and you have two cute little curly buns. It kind of really makes a difference. So if you want more longevity out of this style, if you want it to last maybe into two weeks, um, if you're really trying to protect your hair, that is something that you can decide if you wanted to leave them or not. If you haven't gotten your hands on this travel kit yet, head over to Target or visit UncleFunkysDaughter.com and use Jazz Colored Curls at checkout to save 15%. This is a great way to kind of decide which products you want to buy full size for and a great product kit to travel with. Super Curl and Curly Magic are both in this kit. I'll have the link in the description box as well as the discount code. As always, thank you so much for watching. Peace.